Hello and welcome back to PSN News. I'm Mariel Reese. With me tonight is Sophia Musan, the Executive Director of Penn State's Moving On Festival. Sophia, thank you for joining me tonight. Thanks so much for having me. So I wanted to ask, what exactly is the Moving On Festival? Sure. So Moving On is Penn State's annual music festival. It's fully student run um, and basically it's an event that we have on the last Friday of, um, of classes every spring. And um, we bring three national acts, or four national acts, sometimes it changes sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have a student act open the show. Um, but it's in its 48th year now. Um, so wow. it's definitely a tradition here. And it, it kind of started as an event that was meant to like send off the seniors who are moving uh -huh. on with their life. So hence the name. Oh, that's awesome. So, like, is it a collaboration between, like, different student organizations, or is it just one, or...? Yeah. So, Moving On is its own organization, like, itself. Mm -hmm. However, we definitely are a collaborative organization. We work with different orgs to make it possible. Um, so, those include SPA, ARSH, mm -hmm. and the UPUA, our student government. Oh, wow. So, like, if one student wants to get involved, like, how would one go about that? Yeah, for sure. So... Um, we have three different tiers of involvement. We, be, we first have our um, executive board, and then we have a core team made up of about 40 to 50 oh, people wow. every year. That's cool. um, and those are all tons of different um, positions that like, are all the people who work directly under our directors on the executive board. And then we have a promo team, which is a little bit less of a responsibility level. Um, so if anyone wants to get involved but aren't sure they want to commit like all their time to it, that's a great way to start. But um, we open those up early fall normally. So um, if you follow along on our Instagram, you can see. That's really cool. So where exactly is it held? Um, so Moving On is held on the IM Fields. Uh -huh. So it is an outdoor event, um, but we are rain or shine. So, um, so. so wait, if it rains, are like, people coming out there with like umbrellas? or You cannot bring umbrellas, but... You can bring like a poncho, we have that type of thing, but um, we do monitor weather. So like if mm -hmm. anything were to get dangerous, like in terms of thunderstorms, like yeah. then um, like the correct messages would be sent out for people to evacuate. But sure. if it's just raining, yes, we do continue with the show. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. So like how does any, our students buy tickets? So moving on is actually not a ticketed event. Oh, um, wow. It's free for all students. That's um, great. <laughs> yeah. So, we do have security at the entrance, uh -huh. like at entryways. Sure. Um, but no one will need to scan a ticket because it's free. You just need to show that you have a valid um, ID, a government issued ID or mm -hmm. a student ID um, that states you're 18 or older. Oh, wow. So do we know the date for this year's? Yes. This year, every year it is on the last Friday of classes in the spring. So this year that lands on April 28th for 2023. That's coming up. That's yeah. exciting. So can you give us some examples of some artists that have been like past moving on festivals? Yeah, definitely. So actually last year we had Jack Harlow headlining wow. and then we had Amina and Fits in the Tantrums and the Aces. So that was our lineup for last year. Mm -hmm. um, but it changes a lot over the years. Um, we've had Group Love. Um, we've had... Different, we also have a fall show, so we've had different artists for that. So this year we had Kyle and um, 303 for our fall show. So so does Moving On happen like twice a year or is it like titled differently? or It's titled differently. So in the fall we have Lights Up, which is specifically collaborating with Spa. Um, so it's called Lights Up. Mm -hmm. but, um, so that happens on the Hublon, but Moving On is just in the spring. And um, so that's our festival that happens on the 28th. Do you have like a favorite performer or performer you've always wished that you could get on moving on? Hmm. I honestly like for moving on, I really like think about what the students would want to see oh, sure. most yeah. of the time um, because we're funded by student fees. So we really like work hard to make sure that like as many people are happy with the lineup as possible yeah. and that it's a di diverse lineup. Mm -hmm. But as for some of my favorite artists, Miley Cyrus, um, I love or more um yeah is, is there like a good <laughs> chance we could like get those maybe not on this moving on but like potential future ones or like how does that even work like getting like big time artists like that you know come onto the festival yeah so i have to give big props to our middle agent um we work our his name's brett pasternak we also worked mm -hmm. with 
uh, Dave Stevens in the past, but they help us a lot when it comes to having those connections in the industry with different artist agents. Um, but, but yeah, like it's, it's not just us, but we work uh -huh. throughout the whole year to make those lists. And then, um, and then we have a lot of help from our advisor and our middle agents. Really cool. So I was like on your website the other day and <laughs> it looks like there's a bunch of different events itself that go into the festival. Could you talk a little about that? Yes. So we are an organization that functions throughout the whole year. So as we, as moving on is an event that takes like over a year to plan for the next one. Mm -hmm. But um, as the year goes, we have events like our Spotlight Series, which is um, a way to like promote student acts or give per, um, students performance opportunities throughout the year in the hub. So that's one thing we do. We also have Battle, which is happening on April 4th this year. Um, and that happens in the hub in Alumni Hall, which is an event where different student acts um, compete to be the opening act for moving on. Oh wow, that seems real good. Do you guys get a, like a lot of applicants, or like is it like a pretty cutthroat competition? Or? It's definitely competitive. I mean, it's it's a really cool thing to be able to say as a student artist that you opened up for moving on with the name that we have in the industry. And yeah, so definitely a lot of applicants, but there's always high levels of talent there. So who judges the? Um how they get to be the opening act. Like, is it the students? Do you guys have like a board? Like, So, um, during, during COVID when it was completely virtual, we did have a year where um, students voted for the winner. Mm -hmm. um, but most of the time when it is in person, we select three different judges in the Penn State community. Normally at least one is a student. And, um, and yeah, and they, they work to judge and normally they have some type of music background or at least interest in music, so. Yeah, that's really cool. And one last question. So I also read about the Acoustic Roadshow. So what exactly is that? Yes. So um, Acoustic Roadshow is um, a program that we have that brings, again, we, we work really hard to promote student um, artists and performers throughout the year because that's kind of one of our goals to be able to give them a spotlight. But um, Acoustic Roadshow brings those student acts that apply into the dining halls. Oh, wow. um, to like provide some live music for anyone who's eating or doing work in there. Um, and also as just a means to promote our festival uh, throughout the year. But um, we haven't had that since before COVID. So this year oh, so we're working really hard to bring it back. Yeah, it's so exciting. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to going to it. <laughs> um, now that's all the time we have for tonight. Um, and thank you again for sharing about moving on. <laughs> Up next, uh, Angelica and AJ will bring you the latest news from across the nation. Stay tuned.